Crane from England. Welcome back to my printer project series for gel press. Today I'm going to be using my large 12 by 14 gel plate. Now you can use any size gel plate for this project. I just like a big space to, to play around in but you can use any size plate making lots of really really bright vibrant colourful prints using lots of stencils. Any stencils dig out your favourites. I'm going to rip up my papers to make this little journal which I've wrapped around a reel. Now it could be any size at all, you can scale it up, scale it down and we're going to make something like this. It could be as long as you want. I'm going to pull off some fairly dense prints to start with, playing about with a lot of stencils. Now this is my first print, so you see that's fairly dense. But then the second print gives me this to play with. And I'm also going to use my braid off piece and my kind of mop up page and even my cleaning off the stencil page. You can actually see the shape of my stencil there. So all of these are going to be useful for this project. So gather up some supplies. I'm going to be using some um, smooth white card, deli paper. I might even try it on some craft and some black just to see what I get. And then I've got some large pieces of cartridge paper. That's for cleaning off stencils and things. All those bits are going to be useful. I gathered up some stencils. Now for this, we're not going to be using the whole print. We're just going to be using bits of it. So it can be um, big stencils that kind of cover the whole thing. Or it could be smaller stencils. So that's just going to give me patches of pattern on a page but I can then pick out the bits that I want to use. For this project I'm going to be using paints by Dilutions. These are beautiful to print with. They're a little bit fluid, coming in extremely bright vibrant colours and combine really really well together. I'm starting with Cherry Pie. Now I've placed my stencil on there, I'm going to leave that on there and I'm going to add some pure sunshine. Now this will do two things, it's going to do a stencil lift on the cherry pie but it's also going to put a pattern through this harlequin that I've picked out. So don't forget about your mop-up page. Take off that stencil. There is my first print. And that second one gives me a much lighter print, but they'll work well together. And I've still got a bit left there, so I'll pick that up on my mop up page. The stencil's quite messy on both sides now, so I'm just going to clean it off on some cartridge paper because there might be something useful I, I can pull off here. Now at this stage avoid over braying, otherwise it all just becomes one mid-green. I have to try and keep those greens a little bit separate. Here's the cleaning up of the stencil, so they'll be kind of useful as well. I'm going to try now on black and craft. So I'm going back to my brights, I've got cherry pie and pure sunshine. of prints on craft, on my 
my smooth card. My second ball, which is always a little bit lighter. That one's a bit solid, but there's bits I can use. And then I've got some cleanup pages. Oh, there's the black one as well. I've got the black, some cleanup pages. And some bigger cartridge sheets. Now remember, I'm not looking at the overall print here. I'm looking at bits that I'll be able to pull out and use some little interesting patterns and things. And I've also got my deli paper. All using the stenciling simultaneously with the stencil lift technique. I hope you join me in part two and I'll show you how I piece it all together. <laughs>